With DTW Tutorials educational videos coupled with our CBT app, getting high scores in your exam is guaranteed. Get the DTW Tutorials Jam CBT app today, okay, with over 20,000 past questions with correct solutions for science, art, and commercial students, all subjects for you to practice with. Get it today to support us. Thank you. Hello, guys, and welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about what to do a night before your exam. Okay, four key things you need to do. All right, you still have like 10 days to exam, but as it approaches, okay, a night before your exam, what are the things that you need to do? Okay, I'm going to be talking about it in this video, and I'm also going to be praying for you. All right, I do this by God's grace every year, okay, by praying for you before you get into your exam hall. So please, please share to your friends, family, and loved ones, okay, preparing for the forthcoming jam 2022 exam okay to help them with their examination all right so now the first key thing you need to do is a night before your exam just revision you can quickly just go through your syllabus see what you've covered you know that gives you confidence all right then also go through your formula sheet all right if you're a physics student if you're a um, math student you're a chemistry student you should have a formula sheet by now. If you don't have one, please create one for each topic. The key formulas you should know because in your jam exam, there's no formula sheet provided. So let, make them as in, let it, let it be at the back of your, uh, in your mind, all right? And also for other um, um, subjects that don't use formula, your key points, if you go through your key points, right? You should have a note that have key points and on the, DTW Tutorials channel, I've done some key points for physics and chemistry, 50 key points for chemistry, 50, uh, 45 key points for physics. You can also check through that key points, okay, and also your own. That's what you need to do for revision. You don't need to start cracking your head again, okay, and you must have been practicing and practicing and practicing with a CBT app. I advise you get DTW um, um, Tutorials CBT, Jam CBT app to practice, okay? You still have 10 days to go, so you, you can still practice a lot, all right? So you must have been practicing. So this night is not for practicing. It's just revision, going through your syllabus. No stress, all right? Then the second thing, that's this. The second thing you need to do is logistic preparation. Your jam, um, jam print would be on the 29th of April. That's just a few days from this video I'm going to upload, all right? Once you have that, your exam center, before your exam date, make sure you know that center. Go there and know that place. Know how much it's going to take you there. Know how long it takes you there. So this helps you with your logistic preparation a night before your exam. Please always make sure that night before your, your exam, have change, have notes, so that no keke or marwa will delay you with 50 or 100 naira. Have all your change. All right? Not one 1,000 naira notes. No, have change. Please, and make sure, please, that you go early. Have your jam sleep. As I said, I've said in several videos, please print two jam sleep just in case your center doesn't have a worksheet, you know, rough sheet to give to you and have your pencil. So these are the logistics that you need to have. Your jam ex exam sleep, please print two so you have enough sh rough sheets to work on and have your pencil because those th that's the two things that you'll be allowed to go in for your exam so you have your money your change prepared that's for your logistics so prepare for your logistics know the best route to take and wake up early your parents can help you wake up your relations or your brother your sister whomever you're staying with and I, I, I know very sure that you wake up early okay and the third thing is you have to relax give yourself a good sleep sleep well all right Relax yourself and sleep well. And make sure you don't eat anything that is very heavy at night. All right? Eat something light. Don't go and eat something that will make you stew or make you start purging the next day like beans. You know. You know what makes you purge. So don't eat all those things that uh, your stomach is sensitive to. Okay? So eat light. In the morning, you can wake up. If it's tea, you need something to eat in the morning. Eat something so you have energy. 
If it's a chocolate bar, you can buy and keep. You know, you need that energy for that exam. Two hours of intensive exam, okay? So please don't eat something that would make you start stooling the next morning, all right? Then the, the ass give yourself a good sleep and relax, peace of mind, all right? Now, the final thing is prayer and confidence. You need to walk into that exam with confidence. If you don't have... Um, if you're struggling with exam anxiety, I've done a video of how to overcome exam fear and, and um, anxiety. I'll leave the link in the video description box of this video. There's also an important video I would also want, want you to watch, which is on time management, how to manage your time during your jam exam. Very fantastic. You see, have some days that you can practice this strategy. All right. I'll leave the link to the video in the video description box also of this video. Now to come to prayers. This is where I'm going to pray for you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you are destined to win in this forthcoming JAM 2022 examination. I soak you, I cover you in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that whatsoever that can manipulate, that can touch the blood of Jesus, shall never manipulate or touch you. I pray today for retentive memory like never before. I pray for sound mind. I pray for speed, accuracy upon you. Speed on your feet, accuracy. Not just speed alone, accuracy. Excellence, I pray upon you in the name of Jesus, the spirit of excellence, I pray upon you. And I pray, oh Lord, for favor upon your head, favor upon even your exam center. You shall go to the exam center that will favor you. Your computer will favor you. The power supply there, everything will favor you in the name of Jesus to pass your exam. There shall be no story in your center in the name of Jesus. Anyone that wants to cause katakata in that your center and put everybody in that center at your party, that person will not find his way into that exam hall in the name of Jesus. Oh, I decree and declare that you are destined to win. You shall succeed by the grace and mercy of God. And I pray for God to crown, oh Lord, all your efforts, all your efforts you have put into this exam. Yes. All your effort, the Lord will crown it. You have done jam two times. This is your third time. Oh, this is your last time. You hearing me under the sound of my voice? It is your last time. This time, the Lord, oh God, by his mercies, he will qualify you for success. I declare and declare that the Lord, by his mercies, his infinite mercies, everlasting mercy, he will qualify you for success. In this exam, not only in this examination, all of you, he will qualify you for success in admission. Admission to your desired school. You shall move forward in life. Any power holding you down, even from your father's house, from your mother's house, holding you and binding you down that doesn't want you to make move forward. I decree and declare upon you, move forward into your destiny in the name of Jesus. This year, you shall move forward. You shall move forward. You shall gain admission and move into your destiny. Oh, Lord, I decree victory for you. Any battle, any household evil battle you are going through, I collect victory and I hand it over to you. In the name of Jesus, I say you are destined to win. See, I want you guys to open your mouth and speak it. I am DTW. When that fear comes, you know, see, fear, the devil, you know, he's, at the, he's oh, Jesus. There are two times the devil attacks you. In the beginning, when you want to start preparing, and at the end, when it is time to finish strong, that's when the devil attacks. Any arrow of sickness against you, oh Jesus, against any of these students, I cancel that arrow. I destroy that arrow of sickness in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare you shall be whole and hearty in the name of Jesus. I decree healing upon you. Even any of you now that you are sick, I decree strength upon you in the name of Jesus. Healing like never before. Oh Lord, you are the balm of Gilead. Lord, heal them in the name of Jesus. Arrow of any katakata confusion, even accident against you. Oh, Father, I cancel in the name of you. It shall never stand on your life. Neither shall it come to pass. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You, 
that I'm speaking to that you that, that a lot of battles are waging against your destiny because it is bright, because your future is bright. Ah, I release victory for you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I release victory for this. This individual, I release victory. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every divination, incantation, oh Lord, spell, telepathy, whatever, arrow, whatever they are shooting against you, it shall never stand. Neither shall it come. I cancel all of them with the blood of Jesus. With the fire of the Holy Ghost, I destroy. Every gathering against you, they shall fall for your sake. Everyone fighting against you, contending against your destiny, Oh, I come, oh Lord, I release angels from above now to begin to fight and destroy all their plans, their operations. Even their evil sacrifices made against you, I nullify with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Finally, I give the angels of God charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Even as you are going to your exam center coming back, even as you are going into life, Oh, and to keep you on your ways, least shall your foot dash against a stone, your bones shall not be broken, your flesh shall not be cut. Oh Lord, your spirit shall not be harmed, and your body shall not be afflicted in the name of Jesus, for you are destined to win. Yes, you are DTW. By the grace and power in the name of Jesus, you are DTW. You are destined to win in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, this is the prayer by God's grace. I've been led to pray for you. Okay, while waiting upon the Lord. And I know it is sealed. I seal all my prayers in the blood of Jesus Christ. All um, answers, physical manifestations to my prayers, I seal in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I decree the spirit of excellence upon you. Go and win. You are destined to win. All right, so this is... um. I think this is all I have for you. And yeah, finally, please say no to exam or practice. Do not, do not patronize them. Okay? Do not patronize exam or practice. Please do not patronize exam or practice. Okay? Because that's the first thing to you, to, for you. It, it's going to lead you to failure. Anyone in your center start talking, oh, this, that, want to put fear in your mind, ah, this jam is going to be, ah, forget about them. The Lord has taken over. Okay, the Lord has taken over. He has gone before you. He has made every crooked way straight. Are you getting to me? So, are you listening to me? So, please do not patronize what exam and practice and advise also people around you not to patronize exam and practice. So, this is what I have for you. Uh, go in the confidence of the Lord. Go in boldness. This is it. You are destined to win. That is all you need. I am DTW. Say it and comment it below. I am DTW. Speak it. When the devil brings fear, you're in the exam or your fear comes. I am DTW. I am destined to win. Speak. Even if it takes you 20 times to speak for that confidence, come continue speaking it. Okay? See, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. You have to speak in this life. Are you getting to are you getting my point? So the Lord will be with you. All right. And don't forget, finally, that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last. All right. And give us the same life here, heaven on earth. All right. It pays to follow Jesus. There's a lot of benefits. Okay. Even if you don't see it like quick, 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 and everyone wants quick, mm -mm. He's going to build you on the rock. It takes a while for a rock to be built. But for you to, you know, sink, they say sink the sand. You will just sink easily. It takes, within a few minutes, when my children go to the beach to play, they have built sand castles. But immediately water washes it away. But a rock, water can never wash away like that at all. So Jesus is that rock. Build your life upon him. Be patient in his love, in his power and his joy. And he will see you through, not even in this life, but even after in eternity in heaven at last, we shall meet. Okay, so thank you and see you in our next video.